Hi everyone, Katie here with Spilling Paint, and today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. I'm actually going to try to recreate this one I did a while back. It is my favorite uh, painting I've done, and I think it's awesome, and I'd like to try to recreate it. I'm doing it on a 12 by 12 canvas. And colors. These are different paints than I used in the last one. Um, I've got Montmartre Brilliant Red right here. Orange. Medium Yellow. Thalo Green. I must have dipped that paint. <laughs> um, cerulean blue. Cerulean. Yes, cerulean. A mix of phthalo blue and purple to get a sort of indigo. It's a little more on the blue side, but that's okay. And purple. I did mix white a little bit into all these paints because I wanted them to be opaque since they're going to be against a black background, which the black is Saks True Flow Heavy Body. My pouring medium was mixed into the paints at about a one to one ratio. Uh, my pouring medium is 50% flow I mean uh, Elmer's glue all 20% flow troll 20% water and 10% GAC 800 I'll have that all listed in the description and consistency wise I you know I did the the pouring medium at about a one to one ratio and then I added water to get let's see if you can even see it I hope you guys can see that I'm not sure if you can but Basically, what I want is for the paint to stream off the stick, not drip. You want a full, continuous stream off the stick. And for the Dutch pour, I want it, when it hits the surface, it does not make a mound at all. Um, it ha if it makes a mound, add more water. And if the paint is dripping slowly off your stick, it is too thick. If it is dripping really quickly off your stick, it's too thin, it has to be a continuous flow, no dripping. Except for like maybe the last little bit of paint on your stick will drip, but for the main portion of it, it needs to just flow. Alright, so the canvas I prepped, I painted it black, and I just found that when I'm working with a black background, it works better if I do paint the background or paint the canvas black before I start. Otherwise, the white of the canvas, unless you're working on a black canvas, the white of the canvas will come through. And we don't want that. So, first things first, we're gonna lay out, oh, and there's no silicone oil in any of these. We're gonna lay out our black layer And I'm going to use my hair blow dryer to blow it out, cover the edges. Warning, this is going to be loud. Um, I'm going to, I need to move these paints out of the way though because they're going to blow right off my table here. And Well, we don't want that. So let me get these scooted out of the way here. All right. Okay. Warning, we're getting loud.
something in a little chunk there. Let me get rid of that. I don't think I got it. Let me use this here. There we go. And a hair. I'm just gonna do that. And I'm for my sides, I'm just gonna use my hands. Touch up the corners, make sure everything's covered. All right. That should do it. Now I'm going to give it a torch to get rid of air bubbles. And you don't want to torch too close, um, especially with thinner paints, because you could burn the paint. You know, my, my cats are not allowed in this room, and still, I end up having to pick out their hairs from my paintings every day. Little stinkers. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to lay out my colors, and I'm going to do it in a rainbow, and I'm going to puddle them right in the center, and they're going to slightly overlap, and, uh... Let me try to find my center and put my green there. So this is this is about center right here, I think. So I'm gonna lay out my green here. Oh, sorry, my that is my toddler. He likes to just randomly scream uh, for no reason. Anybody else have a toddler that does that? No, just me. Hmm. <laughs> so we got yellow. Orange. And red on this side. And we have blue indigo ish <laughs> and violet kind of on that side let's get these cups out of the way now I'm going to pour a little bit of black. Hmm, that wasn't really centered, was it? I should have brought it down a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to pour a little bit of black around. And something I don't see mentioned a lot is uh, when you pour around, your, this is your basically your blowover, the, what you puddle around your colors. The more you pour down, the farther your paint is going to, to travel when you start blowing it out. So if you don't want... It to travel very far because you want the negative space don't lay too much out you can always add more around to get it to go a little farther I find it best to start out with a small amount and add more where I want to add it if I want it to travel farther in certain areas All right, let's get rid of air bubbles. And it's time to get the hair dryer. It's gonna be loud again, not as loud because I'm not gonna have it on such a high speed. But, just warning you. We're gonna, I'm gonna blow over this way this way and then I'm going to blow the colors out.
Um, <laughs> I feel like maybe a bigger canvas would have been better. Is that another hair? Seriously? I really like the red over here. That's awesome. And don't worry, I'll take you in to get closer to look. <laughs> I keep seeing more hairs. I really wish I knew what I did with my tweezers. I had tweezers set up over here and I have managed to lose them. I am uh, really good at losing things. Let me see if I can find something to get that hair out. Alright. One of my sewing needles here. There's no more. I don't see any more. This is a little dense for me here. And I'm going to see if I can maybe blow the indigo, or yeah, the indigo out a little more. Something else I can do is, oops, forgot that stick was in there. I'm going to pour in a little bit of black over here. And hit it with the hair dryer again. That's a little better. Um, might do a little bit more. Just in this area. better. Alright, yeah, I like this. I think I did a pretty decent job of getting the same basic look. Um, I do want to do this on a real big canvas, but I wanted to practice with these paints first because I've, I've tried to recreate this before and uh, wasn't having much luck, but I think it was my black paint was really weird. It was a uh, I was using Blick student body, or I'm sorry, Blick student grade paints, uh, and the colors, I've never had issues with the colors, and they've always looked great, and white has always worked fine, but the black, when I use it as a base in a Dutch pour, I get just, my colors get covered almost immediately in giant black cells. It it's crazy. Let me see if I can find one that I haven't poured over yet. This one wasn't so bad, and it, but it dried poorly. But I would get these just everywhere. And like, 
my color came out and then a few minutes later it would just get covered in these black cells and uh, I guess I stuck my finger in that <laughs> this one's gonna be painted over I did not like how it turned out um, but yeah I, I don't suggest the the Blick student black at least for a base I have had it work well as a added color I did a another Dutch pour let me find it this one here where I used it in my colors like I, I puddled it and used white as the background and I thought it turned out really awesome um, I definitely like to repeat this but I guess that is it for right now um, just a little short video I guess it's short I, I, I can't see my timer for some reason oh yeah so it's under 20 minutes and uh, I guess we can take you down let you get a better look of course when this dries I, I don't expect the colors to be so vibrant um, like the other one it, it dried and dulled out a little bit but it still looks great I think um, I love what the red did here. And yeah, I love it. Looks great. I put you back up here on the stand. There we are. You're kind of in the wrong spot. That's okay. Um, well, as always, please uh, like and share and well, I guess, well, I guess you can like YouTube videos, uh, share and subscribe rather, <laughs> uh, make sure to check out the description. I will have my link to my Facebook page, uh, the spilling, the spilling paint Facebook, Facebook page. I cannot talk. Wow. I will have my pouring medium recipe and, uh, yeah, I will catch everyone later. Have a good one. Bye.